ha ka jingelang jong ka G20 kemala long ha ka nong ba shilong ha ka khat nyau terek u yayong arajar arpulai u G20 sherpao amitapkan u long ba shilong ka dani ka benta ka bakongsan ha ka jingkan tiao ki kor ki bor ki bedei bat ki kam hau hau ha ka than stelam mi ngi namar ba ka dan ka space center hang ne ha ba kran ki nong thok ku bor hadian balawai ka jingelang jong ka space economy leaders meeting ha po ka jinglong president ke india ha ka G20 ha ka jingelang ka balalong ha ka hotel courtyard by marriott u amitap kan ulong ba ka ni ka space center madan laki jong ki mat trikam ki ban ken tiu ya ki kam la jong ki belatip kum ki start up ki bede ba ki kam hau hau ha ka ri india kat kum ki jingi thu jong u ki la don sun spa atli ki kam start up ki belatip register ha ka bede ba ki kam hau hau dak ke boong baki kloi ban ai ke jingkersan ke bokura nang baki ni ki kam ke nya chprang ha kari ha ko wei pat kaliang uluang baki ni ke jingyalang ke blalong ha kanong ba shilong kaya tai halor kita kilat kumno ban pendan kam ya ki ek ek be dei bat kau hau nang ban ken tiu ya ki nigiri ki bedan ha ka ken hon g20 uluang sok sok ba an kemi ru ha ka be dei bat ka bor ka bala ban pentemai U amitapkan ulong sosoro ba kin pet ha ka bedei bat ki benta ki ba ke India kala bantre ha ka bedei bat ki kam hau hau. Da ke boong ba kan ni ke long ke jingetai ke basung tenat ba. Namar ba kami ne ke ken huan jong ki ri ki bahap apo ke G20. Ulong ba ke jingetrei lang ha ki por ke bansawan ke long ke bekong san hado kata kata bat kum ta dan kam ban kemi ya ki kendon bat kum jo ik mat rekam. Ulong ba Kialam ya ka jingetai namar ba ka Indian Space Research Organization ka ISRO ka don hakari India bat ka don ka benta ka bakraub ha ha ka ni ka matrikam now with this meeting here the space center here we want northeast to play a very critical very major very significant role in the space sector and space will help you to get the right data right data for development is important it will help us to create a lot of young entrepreneurs because you have an educated population it will help you to to tap into the renewable energy it will help you to build up a completely new sustainable manufacturing era of tomorrow you are you will be ahead of the rest of the countries the rest of the countries and rest of the states so we have already got a very 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 important high powered drive to space through the launch vehicle the isro the isro has uh, done path breaking work in collaboration with many countries now it's time for very young dynamic startups and startups from all over the world to come and utilize the strengths of india and uh, we have opened up that sector so the policies regime and the rules and regulations are in place for in terms of manufacturing in terms of launches there are over 500 startups who registered within space and i think you will see a massive massive impetus to startups in india because the policy framework now has been developed and created for the startups to drive the space sector in india we are here to assist and support them both ensel and in space are here to fully handle them and that is why the in space chairman mr goenka was also here we are all fully supporting the indian startups to lead us in the space sector no so therefore uh, nesac has been very cooperative and we have been using uh, and working with nesac very closely of course the uh, the possibilities are limitless so obviously we cannot say that we have been able to go into every aspect of uh, space technology and using nesac's real strengths i should say but the uh, impact has been great government of india has been stressing a lot on this and uh, just to share with you there are multiple projects going on as we speak uh, to you know to uh, to use space technology for example the afforestation that we're doing we're doing it with uh, nesac uh, the catchment area protection work that we're doing we're doing it nesac uh, the entire reservoir creation that we're doing we're doing with nesac so there are multiple projects agriculture forest cover all these aspects are being worked with nesac but obviously scope is very very large keeping in mind the capability that nesac has but as we go forward and i'm sure programs like these will allow us now to really 
push this entire uh, space technology aspect uh, even further. So there the involvement and obviously it's a subject that is uh, you know very much in the domain of the central government. But we have seen that um, that now government of India has uh, has encouraged in the through this policy the involvement of private sector, which is a really encouraging thing because that is the only way to ensure that innovation takes place. For innovation, we need uh, the private sector entrepreneurs to come in. Uh, we have seen this happening in other parts of the world, and uh, hence uh, the story in India is none, uh, no different. And we have seen that India has a huge resource of uh, entrepreneurs and young uh, technicians and uh, entrepreneurs who are who will be able to bring in innovation given the chance. So therefore, I'm very happy that the policy has come in, and definitely wherever Meghalaya can play a role in ensuring that our youngsters and our different companies who would be interested in the space technology, uh, we will be there to obviously help. Entrepreneurship is an area which I have promoted myself a lot, and uh, I would like to see that uh, one day, yes, that not just uh, big companies from other parts of the country, but I hope that we will see startups from Meghalaya also play a big role in space technology.